Welcome to Uh Oh. What is the episode number? Uh, it's not ninety four. It's that's, not ninety four. Hold on. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, oh, hello and welcome to the episode. TJ doesn't know the number of. <laughs> oh, welcome to another episode where we are not prepared. Yeah, and... yeah. Don't, uh, I just hope he doesn't edit this. I hope it all stays in. He's walking around the house now, looking for his friggin'. He notes. doesn't have a clue. He might not even know where he is right now. Yeah, I, I guess if we keep talking about it, or at least keep talking, he won't have to edit it. You know how like he mentions right, he the dog, so he doesn't have to edit it. Leave the yeah, leave the uh, banner in for a little while while we wait yeah, yeah. for TJ. As, as long as we don't have a, a spot where we stop talking, then it's yeah, because we've got to no keep it going so he can't actually <laughs> find a spot to cut yeah. it off. Yeah, where did he go? And, where did he go? He went to the store. TJ went to the store to get a drink. <laughs> what town did he leave the, the number for this episode in? He where, is gone. <laughs> where is he writing his notes at? A friend's house? What's going on here? I didn't leave uh, anywhere. You guys just wouldn't let me get a word in Edgewise. <laughs> I had it for like five minutes, the number. And he just kept going. We were trying to make it so you have to edit it. That's what we're doing. In any case, hello and welcome to episode 117 of Comics and Us. I'm TJ. Hey, I'm Chris. And I'm Lumpy. And this is the review show that reviews comics chronologically, kind of. Oh, we really did find his notes. The last one we recorded, he didn't know the, <laughs> the opening. Well he, well, he walked a mile to get them, so I hope <laughs> yeah, he got true. something. That's Maybe that's what he was doing. Maybe he sat down and memorized it before he came back. <laughs> That's because the origin <laughs> intro is different than this intro. Ah, that's what happened. Yeah, like, I, I know. I what know it is. I've done this intro 117 times, apparently. So yeah, well, I, I've listened to you do it 117 times, and so it's my turn. I can't get it. So still don't know it. <laughs> yeah, I still don't know it. Anyway, today we are covering the December issue of Detective Comics number 94, at least the Batman story, and it, it is called. No one must know. The executive editor was Whitney Elsewhere. The cover artist was George Russo's. It was written by Bill Finger, penciled by Ed Cressy and Dick Sprang, inked by inked and lettered by Dick Sprang, and edited by Jack Ship. And I don't have anything else about that. There's nothing really interesting about this comic, so at all. Let's just dive into the cover. <laughs> Lumpy, why don't you do the initial cover? All right. So Batman and Robin are in the sewers. Um, for there's reasons. a big red banner at the top. It's got the standard Batman in his circle. It says the Batman under it. Detective Comics is in yellow. It's number 94. Mine just says December. It doesn't tell me anything cents. else after that. December dot dot cents. dot 10 cents. The and word mine around. says a Superman publication, DC. Yeah. So, so the picture is Batman with a flashlight wading through the water in the sewer. There's a big light behind him, so obviously this leads to the outside, but they're you, coming from the outside. Do you think Harrison Ford just jumped out of that tunnel from back there? <laughs> Very swung right in. <laughs> and the brickwork is kind of drawn in in like some purplish coloring. Batman and Robin seem drawn well. I am I'm curious. Do you ever have and and I don't for some reason I don't know, but when I first looked at this I'm like Batman's face looks really good, but his eyes are just white. Really? Because I don't like Batman's face in this one for some reason. So maybe it's that's what it is. Nose. Maybe the face looks weird. Yeah, it's a weird. He's got like a weird nose piece over on his mask, and yeah, no eyes the at way all. they tried to do the shadowing, but his eyes yeah, are just weird. white. He doesn't yeah. actually have eyes, and I'm like, maybe in the comic he never does, but the way they're drawing it looks different. In no, this, it looks very blank. He does not have any eyes. No, it's the weird half circle eyes that I don't like. Yeah, uh, but there's never any pupil, and right. I kind of took it that him and Robin are walking forth and they're surprised at what they're seeing. Oh, uh, yeah, that was maybe. Surprise! Uh, I don't know what's going on with Robin's face either. Like, I don't know if that's lips or if he's got a goatee. Yeah, something. the Double the way skin. they tried to do the shadowing, like he looks like he has a Zorro mustache. Like, yeah, it's weird. And um, they also Batman's shape is odd. Like he doesn't quite look as muscular, like the way they drew it in the water. I don't know. It just looks like kind of slumped a little bit. Well, he is weighted in waist-high water. True. Yeah. But the water usually makes him stronger. So, I don't know. Well, right. We even it's get that in the next one. No, well, it's, it's the river or the ocean. It's not, we don't know about sewer water. No, sewer they've water splashed water on each other to do it. So, any I mean, water. 
Oh, it's any litter now. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. That's not true, actually, because if you remember in that one Western one, he got knocked off of a, punched off a window and fell in like a pool of litter and didn't kind of come out of it. He didn't? Well, Rob had to did. save him or something? No, they um, pulled him out of the water, and then they he started. He got up and acted like a cartoon character because he was on kind of, some kind of horse drug or whatever. They was fed. Oh, well, they had him on drugs. That's why. You can't horse drugs drug and wires. superpowers don't mix. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it for the cover? Sounds good to me. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got. M- moving on. There is no Superman secret code because I think we're done with that. Ah oh, man, that was my favorite. I think we've been done with it for weeks and weeks now. So. Yeah, I don't think we've heard it in quite some time. Which is fine by me. Uh, I loved when you had to do that. That was my favorite. I hope they do other codes. I hope they do more codes soon. I think they don't. They're not. They're done hawking war on the stamps. So yeah, they haven't talked about that in a while. I mean, they they mentioned little digs, but they don't put it on there like you know. Because they have no, not whole comics anymore. No, nah. because it's the same paper. Yes. Anyway, uh, but these comics are. Only found in a DC publication, these top ranking heroes of the comics world Superman, Batman, and the Boy Commandos. Boy Commandos is still around, huh? Yeah, it's only 1940. It's still the end of 1944, so the war is still going on. Okay. Oh, they don't keep them around after the war's over? I'm sure they stick around for a little while. Yeah. But, I mean, they're only coming out quarterly, the Boy Commandos, which is every three months, essentially. Okay. Whereas Batman is coming out bi-monthly every two months, so. And Detective Comics is coming out monthly. Anyway, for a guarantee of the best in any comic magazine, always look for the DC symbol on the cover. Superman, DC symbol on the cover. Yep. You missed Superman. Don't skip Superman. I said Superman. Nope, you just said DC. Doesn't need extra (laughs) help here. (laughs) Just do the, the non cover splash page. All right. <laughs> this this splash page I liked. I like the whole um, Batman and Robin are riding a bull, and there's like gangsters running around shooting guns up in the air, and it looks like they ran over a couple gangsters. What I didn't like was I read this entire paragraph on the side that they have here, mm-hmm. and it doesn't have anything to do with the move with the the comic. Why is it talking about nightmares? And do you ever wake in the darkness, tormented by your by the awful thought that someone might find it out? Is it just it- because? Because of that because, guy? Because of that guy. It spoils the entire comic, like it always I, does. I, I know, but it, uh, I don't know. It was like a lot of words for no reason. That's what I thought. That's about. always a lot of words. That, that giant paragraph on the side is always <laughs> useless and not necessary. So this is kind of a cannon splash page, isn't it? No. Batman and Robin are riding out of a livestock hall on a bowl, which happens I don't, later I don't on. think there's cartoon characters running from a smoke cloud. They're not. They got run over by the bull. And Batman and Robin were running. No, they didn't. The, those guys in the back. I mean, not... they do ride a bull later in this. Batman yeah. and Robin ro- ride separate bulls. Oh, okay, you're right. And they don't run over the bad guys. The bad guys cause the stampede on purpose. That's right. So they're not running around with their guns up in the air, shooting up in the air, or nothing then either. No. Okay, so it's a non canon splash page. Never mind. <laughs> and um, Bob Kane's Bob Kane's name's on there underneath the Batman with Robin the Boy Wonder. Boy Commandos ended in November, December of forty nine. Oh wow! After the oh. war ended. Yeah, yes. but you said, I just I wanted to like right after the war. No, not right after. Like I said, they lasted a, a little bit, and then it goes for, and then they died out because who wants to read about boys in a think, war when there's no war do, going on? I think we should do Boy Commandos. Issue by issue, that's what I think. Who never get through Batman? <laughs> you're going to want to find somebody else to do that with. <laughs> anyway. That's it. Our uh, story begins in the yeah. peaceful, sleepy village of Meadowvale, where life flows peacefully. Do you want to do the comic? Let's read the yes. entire comic word for word this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, read the we'll captions. Be- you describe the pictures, and Lumpy can read the uh, the words. Like the, the I will the mute myself, and you guys can do that if you want to. Because <laughs> we I can't gonna, read this a third time. If we were going to do that, we would just not have read it the first time and do it on screen. I've done that already. You know, there's been ones that I didn't read at all, and I listened to you tell me about them. <laughs> or I read them three days prior, and I didn't remember them at all. I've done that already. In any case, we open up proper in Meadowville, and Meadowville is a great place, small place to live. Apparently, bankers forgive farmers their 
they're, that they owe money. Oh, yeah. Pay your mortgage whenever you feel like it. That's what we're doing here. Yeah. Uh, they Judges let off people who can't afford tickets if they promise never to commit a crime again. And yeah. the community takes place in all of the decisions that happen in Meadowvale. This is a very utopia-like place that would not actually exist. Um, one such character is George the reason why it wouldn't exist. The, the, one such character is the reason why it wouldn't exist. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> one such character is George Barrows, who for some reason has brown hair when he's introduced, but has white gray hair. Oh, wait, no. That's not Yeah, him. no. Is That's that his... No. It always has white hair. Oh, yeah, it does say George Barrow is right when he's up talking. Yeah, that's what I mean. And the first yeah. panel, every, and where they're saying, I agree with the mayor, but the guy says, George Barrow is right. Oh, uh, you know what, though? Maybe that was years and years ago, and this is, he's been there that long. I don't trust the colorist to not just made to make the mistake. True. I agree. I agree with that. I can't, I can't argue that fact that we've seen happen millions of times. Where exactly. Colors from there are to people that were yeah. blue for no reason. Yeah, blue people. People's faces change. Uh, we've had it happen. Yeah. Anyway. George Barrows has a son who's marrying a girl who's the daughter of a judge. And this is worries George Barrows because, you see, he's an ex-crook and an escaped convict. Dun, dun, dun. And he's now he's worried that his secret will be discovered because of this. And when you say it in a comic, it comes true. So You can't even think things in a comic because you know it's going to happen eventually. He even, made the he made the mistake. Yep. Yeah. And the, and even the narrator scolds him for it in the last panel. <laughs> Does he really? Yeah. Uh, it, the narrator says, "It's all very well to make resolutions, George Barrow, but the fact remains that a man's most carefully hidden sins have a way of catching up with him." <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, we cut from the peaceful Metal Vale to crime-ridden Gotham. Gotham. <laughs> the which other I, side of the coin. That's what this is. Which I found hilarious. Yeah. Anyway, this one guy is yelling at this gangster-looking guy because he tricked him. That he sold him, uh, what was it? Oil stocks that are oil, worthless. St- worthless oil stocks. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to go to the place. The, the gangster's like, nah, and it hits him in the head and knocks him out. And so he gets his buddy to help carry the, the unconscious guy down here, and they're going to go throw him in the river. <laughs> Let's get rid of this guy. But Batman and Robin just happened to show up. They were just there. And the crooks see this and drop the guy at the bottom of the stairs, and Batman and Robin chase him up the stairs and crash through the door. Uh, you know what I thought was weird? And When they're chasing him up the steps, the guy says that guy and his boyfriend are poisoned. Oh, I wanted to bring it up. Yeah, they know that they're dating, too. <laughs> yeah, boyfriend. <laughs> Anyway, everyone knows Batman and Robert are dating. It's fine. I didn't know it was a secret. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyway, Batman crashes through a door instead of through a window this time, smattering the poor door. And there's a there's a fight. Batman punches a guy. Robin kicks a guy. And then for some reason, Batman go decides to stop in the middle of the fight to go through a drawer and try to get through some evidence. <laughs> Wait, what? Does he, oh yeah, he does. The guy's yeah, mid fight. Oh, he's doing it. Hold on, just... one second here. <laughs> I'm just gonna go through your files here for a moment, yeah. but and the, so the the bad guy picks up a telephone and hits him in the back of the head and knocks him out. That is the worst thing I've seen him get knocked out by. I think a telephone. I don't know. They are kind of heavy those little receivers, but I mean it is a rotary phone. I would assume, right? Yeah, sure. I would leave. Yeah, I Definitely. just don't understand why he went into the filing cabinet mid fight. He wanted to pick, pick up, up a little evidence. evidence. It's like it doesn't even make any sense. He says it. He's like, while I'm kicking your ass, I'm going to pick up a little evidence to turn over to the law. <laughs> <laughs> He's slipping a little bit here. I don't know. This Batman's slipping not. a little bit. He's distracted that his boyfriend's there with him. You're not the world's greatest detective if um, you stop it for a minute to look for evidence in front of everybody. That's not a good detective. Anyway, so he gets knocked out for the 78th time here. 78? There's only 94 detective comics. Yeah, I know. He's almost averaging one per comic. <laughs> well, we got a couple, I think. Either this one or the next one. There's at least two. Yeah, the next one he gets knocked out twice, so. Yeah. <laughs> and... Anyway, but Batman getting knocked out, Robin gets mad and smashes this glass container over the guy's head. But then Robin gets hit and knocked out by a blackjack for... Since we saw a blackjack, too. And this is Robin's 53rd knockout. Ah, Robin's on half. He's he's averaging half. (laughs) Not exactly, but close to half of what Batman's averaging. Anyway, sometime later they both wake up 
And again, then, no, nobody picked up their their masks to see who they are. They just left them laying there on the floor and left. No, they had to get out of there. Batman and Robin yeah. are after them. They're knocked out. I'm looking at Batman's face. If I knock Batman out, I'm picking up his mask and seeing who he is. Anyway, they go through some files, and Robin's like, are we thinking we're going to see these guys again? And Batman said, I have a funny feeling the comic's going to let us. <laughs> if not, this comic's going to go on forever. And then the narrator says, okay, we're going to cut from that to show you where they went. And then, so we get, a, we get to see where the bad guys go, and they drive, they're driving to... So, apparently, they're going to do what they used to do, which is hit the county fairs. They love the county fairs. I don't know how much money is you get from the county fairs, but apparently that's their racket. But Bruce is like, you know what? My detective him paid off. I found them. They're hitting the county fairs because it says here in the newspaper. In this little section of the side of the newspaper here. That I yeah, just have next to, to the find. obituaries here, it says, Con men, Flea County Fair. He must study the entire paper every day. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Anyway, so they know what they're doing, so now they're going to go hit the county fair. And there just happens to only be one county fair in the area that has a county fair going on. And guess where it's at? Meadowvale. Meadowvale. Oh, yeah, Meadowvale. Duh. Yeah, well, I think the county fair just moves, doesn't it? When they have a county fair, doesn't the next one just the next town I over just, or no, that's a carnival. I thought the county fair was thrown by the county. By the county. Yeah, you're Your right. own never... county. There's... <laughs> There's one for every county in well, the world. Well, you can't have sure. the county fairs on the same day, though, because then nobody, like, people who are on the board. Why? Right? There's the different board? counties for different reasons. I know, but what about the guy who lives on the border? He's, he wants to go to both, so you got to have them on separate days. I mean, two counties close together probably don't, yeah, but a probably. lot of counties probably have them on right. the same day. So Meadowvale's probably right next to that last county fair. I think that's what <laughs> It looks like a carnival, too, by the way, when we get to it. It's just a coincidence that the bad guys happen to be going to the, the one county fair that happens to have the one guy that they need for this whole plan to work out. Sure. Anyway, this is enough to get Batman and Robin rolling. They're heading to Meadowvale to get in the Batmobile. And then at the county fair, uh, county fair um, kids are going on rides, and the bad guys pick up some more thugs, and they what's go... Up with, what's up with the stereotypical, like... Different gangster faces, too. Big, tall guy, little short guy, guy with a big cigar in his mouth. They look like... Monkey-looking head. Yeah, they look like Dick Tracy villains. Yeah. I mean, that was, that was just the common thing back then. Yeah. That's what happens when you give you you give us Bobo gangster guys. Yeah, we gotta just keep drawing weird faces and shit. They can't all look the same. We're gonna have 10,000 of them, so you gotta just keep putting new ones out there. Anyway, the, the original two gangsters that were behind over things tell their new guys to just... Cause a distraction in case something, if something happens, so they can get away. Meanwhile, they go and start conning. They do the, um, what's it called? The rock game where you, they have to find the marble. I forget yeah, what the game is the, called. The, the shell game. The shell game, yeah. The, yeah. One guy's playing a shell game and the other guy's selling, like, oil, oil who's, deeds. Who's buying oil deeds at the county fair? <laughs> this guy in the glasses. Yeah, I'm actually but, curious if that was something that people did. Like, do they set up, like, a, a stand and sell oil yeah, and like, stuff? Yeah, maybe. I'm I mean, curious. I mean, I, I don't know when that oil rush things happen, but it is still... But those county fairs were huge, weren't they? Weren't they, like, really, a, like, a big draw yeah. for people and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. And then they also try to sell this old woman a... This old widow a gold a, mine, I think. gold mine, yeah. And she's like, I'm going to go get the $1,000 my husband left me to go do this. Meanwhile... We cut back to George Barrows, who we haven't seen in a few pages. He's at the fair with his son and his fiance, and he's walking. But the gangsters recognize him. Oh, look! These guys. They and not only does he do they know who he is. They are the reason he got out twenty four years ago or whatever it was. You know what I liked that um, back in the forties, you apparently didn't have to change your name if you were in hiding. That's what I was gonna get to. <laughs> He doesn't change his name. No, no. They're like, it's George Barrow. He's like, it's George Barrow's. Why do why you say, no, I'm not? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm Bill Smith. Yeah, go, well, talk to, go talk to the judge. He can't change his name anyway because it's even a secret from his son that. Yeah, but his son shouldn't have that name because yeah. he had a son after it, right? Right, yeah, his son came after that. Uh, yeah, I think true, he's I been escaped a long time. He, I think the statute of limitations should be over. When he removed the first metal valve, his name should be like Jack Tanner or something. Right, right. But no, that's George Barrows. <laughs> An old college chum. And why is George Barrows like 80 and these guys are like 
40. Yeah, and it they, does seem like they're... Well, they, because they weren't... He wasn't a gangster with them. They they broke him out of jail. Oh, right, they made him go with right. them. That's right. Yeah. He does explain why. Okay. He was almost out of jail, and they made him go with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because he overheard what they were doing. You're right. Okay. And so they go off to George Barrow and says, Hey, George Barrow, you're going to get us money, or we're going to tell people that you're an escaped convict, and we're all going to jail together. Yeah. And George cool. Barrow's like, Oh, man, I guess I have no choice. So he goes... Oh, he has them for twenty grand, and he goes and gets five hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, they say we'll see how much you can dig up, and we'll yeah. tell you if that's enough. Yeah. And so he he's walking around. It's sad. He runs into his son, and they were like, "Is something wrong?" He's like, "Nah." So he goes to the bank, gets five hundred bucks, comes back to the dorm, and he says, "They said that's that'll do for a down payment." And so they're like, "Now you're going to get us more money." He's like, "Where am I going to get money? I don't know. I'll go rob a bank or something." They say, "Yeah." The gangsters, and then. While this conversation has happened, Batman and Robin sneak up on them. And purposely say they're sneaking up on them. We're going to scare the crap out of them while we're standing behind them. And they do. They walk up and they scare behind them and they look like cartoon characters when they're scared. <laughs> I was just going to say, did you see the guy's faces when he scares them? <laughs> he says, or else what, little man? They look ridiculous. They look like totally out of the ordinary for even this comic book. Yeah, and so they come after them, but they yell for their goons to, you know, start a distracted, and then there's a giant fight that happens. Batman smashes their two heads together. I don't know, teeth out, they're doing everything. Yeah, they, those guys come, and they start punching. Robin knees a guy in the face and knocks his teeth out. Batman punches a guy while the other two run. Batman. Then we go on to a slew of carnival attraction things where Batman punches a guy who's introduced in the dog face boy, and then Robin kicks a guy into the strength thing where you have to ring the bell. Yeah, and rings the bell. And rings the bell, and then, then Batman knocks another guy into a doctor who's selling, I'm assuming this is, like, one of the scam artist doctors. It's just it trying says to sell. Indian blood bitters for man yeah. or beast. That's right. What it yeah, whatever. It's a super tonic. It's just, what is it called? Uh, snake, snake, snake oil. Snake, snake oil. oil. Snake oil. Snake oil. Yeah. 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 Anyway, after they beat up a bunch of guys, a kid tells Batman and Robin that the um, bad guys went into the uh, livestock show, which also George Barrows had snuck away and ran in and tried to hide from them. Anyway, yeah, Batman earlier. Yep, Batman and Robin are going after them, but they decide to climb up and over because they don't want them to see them. But the bad guys have a plan too. If they see Batman and Robin, they're going to cause a, a stampede, and so Batman and Robin swing in. And get seen, and so they shoot their guns in our hair and start a stampede. Yeah. So. Now we're riding bulls. So now Batman and Robin are trying to stop the stampede from running over people, and they do it. And the judge and the mayor thanks them and said they're going to reward them. But meanwhile, the bad guys are hiding up there, and George Barrow says, They did that on purpose. I can't let them get away with it. So he pushes over the ladder. I don't know why they were standing on top of the ladder. <laughs> they stayed. Yeah, they stayed on the ladder for some reason. That was weird. I Together, thought the ladder... Too. I thought the ladder led somewhere, but I, I don't. I guess not. Yeah, I don't know. Wouldn't you be afraid to start a stampede while you were standing on the ladder? You would think. I don't know. Bad guys fall into a bunch of uh, fall down, and Robin punches one into a bunch of pigs, and then a bull hits another gores. one. Yeah, gores, gores the other one. Gores another one, and then the bad guys are like caught, so they're like, "Hey, we're going to jail." So is George Barrow because he's a thief, and he's like, "It's true. I stole an." No, he found a necklace. Yeah, he didn't even do anything wrong. He found a necklace and went to turn it in, and they or or no, he hocked it. He found yeah, a he, necklace and hocked it, and then they they thought he stole it and rested him. And then the bad guys forced him to escape with them because of what you said earlier. And then um, he he was afraid that the warder wouldn't believe his story. That's why he didn't go back and turn himself in, even though he was close to being done with his sentence because he already got a year or something. Anyway, George Barrow's son's like, I can't marry you now because my dad's a crook. I don't know why that matters, but whatever. And she's like, ah, oh, nonsense. We're we're going to go face this together. And then the judge is like, yeah, don't worry about it, George Barrows. You're an escape convict. We'll fix this because that's how that works. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's anyway, Batman and Robin, I guess, got all the people from Meadowvale to sign, uh, sign a document that say George Barrows is a good guy, and they take it to the governor, who signs a pardon. He also gets them a marriage certificate for the uh, for the son and daughter, and they all live happily ever after as Batman goes home and says, I didn't stay for the wedding because I'm not sentimental, even though you have a trophy room with nothing but sentimental pieces from all <laughs> your cases. True. That is absolutely true. So um, I'm going to 
tell you something that I that I have record of. One of I think it's one of ours. I'd have to look back and find out which side of my family it is. But one of my great 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 grandfathers, his wife cheated on him with a guy in a bar, and he went and he shot the guy and killed him, and he went to jail. And he was such a good guy that the whole town wrote letters. And they let him out of prison because he was wow, a good guy. Wow, really? So wow. actually, I mean, apparently this did actually happen back then. It can work. Then it can work. <laughs> well, and I just thought it was funny because we always joke like, oh, yeah, it's easy. Just like this is so stupid. Like it would never happen. But literally it did. I have the it newspapers. It came up in your, yeah. In our, from wow, our like weird. ancestry stuff. Well, that's like, ridiculous. It, I agree. It's absolutely <laughs> ridiculous, but literally because <laughs> To be the fair, town, I'm, not, I'm not surprised that it would be in our family considering yes. <laughs> how our family works, so. <laughs> but I was, like, blown away by the newspaper. Like, if you, I have the articles, and I was like, this is insanity. Like, how, but the town said that, like, he was literally, and they got a petition together, and they got him out. He only spent, like, two months in prison. They let him out. You know, you know, or um, murder. It sounds yeah, like murder. The, it sounds like that woman must have been running around on him a lot. Like they, everybody in the town must have known. That um, uh, that's what I'm assuming. I'm yeah, assuming. If yeah. I remember, that's I, no excuse to kill the guy. No, 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 no. It's no excuse. But what I'm saying is they they sided with him instead of her. So she must have been a bad person. <laughs> yeah. So if I remember right, I think the last name was like Steinmetz. So like, but I don't remember what part of the family it was. I'd have to really. Uh-oh. Go back and look, but I have the I have the actual articles when he was re- released from prison and everything. So it was That's like, crazy. And I would say it would have been, you know, probably in the twenties or something. I'm guessing. Right. It's wild, but we laugh all the time when we're reading these old comics, and I'm like, actually, it did work that this way. Crap, came and we're like, yeah. uh, he's a good person. Let's let him out. He doesn't deserve <laughs> to be in jail. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> it's wild. It's it's crazy. In any case, who was in this? Who was in this? No One Must Know, so I can't tell you, because it's called No One Must Know. Individuals, Batman and Robin, Lefty Gorin, Slats Macer, Babyface, Tug, Dippy, Jimmy Barrow, Mary Watts, Judge Watts, George Barrow, and Governor Rob. That's who's in this. Yeah, this comic, nothing happened. It was... This comic was just more of the, you know, one-off... I mean, they tried to make a story out of it with the guy who... Yeah, I mean, um, there's nothing there. It, nothing happens in the story, though. It's like Nothing really happens, you're right. Dude, nothing happens. They go to a carnival. <laughs> so, no, they go, to, what, they go to a county fair. County fair. Like, that's that's what happens in this story. They go to a county fair. And uh, and they can let a guy who escaped prison off the hook from escape from prison. To be <laughs> fair, though, to go back to your argument, they did let that guy out for murder. But this guy escaped prison. Right. 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 Usually you would get more time for escaping prison. And most people did. Like, if you yeah. broke out of jail, you went back to jail uh, to finish your sentence and you got more time for, for escaping jail. But you, you did. Right. Yeah. If you stay out like thirty years, isn't there like a statute of limitations or something? I looked it up. There is no statute of limitations. I thought the same thing. There is no statute really? of limitations for escaping jail because wow. you have to be accused and stand prosecuted in order to force statute of limitations. So to you're already prosecuted and you were serving your time. So your time still has to be served. Well, not necessarily. It, it's the difference between it is like. There's a statute of limitations on, I think, every crime except for murder. Okay. And um, after a certain amount of years, it doesn't matter how that crime is essentially forgiven if you're not caught, essentially. However, once you were already sentenced, essentially, in there. So if you escape from prison, it's technically not a crime. You are considered a fugitive and in hiding. And that Uh. kind of... And that right, you still owe that time. Yeah, that it's you all it does. From. It suspends whatever it is you were doing. Okay. Essentially, yeah, I looked it up too because I was like, wait. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that comment was stupid. Anything else to say about it? Not uh, at all. No, I, didn't, I mean, wasn't great. So I got two jokes this time. The first one is a PG joke. The second one, if you're listening with your children, hang up after the first joke. Okay. 
<laughs> Why does Robin only use white chess pieces in his games? Because Batman always has to have the Dark Knight. Dark Knights, uh, yes. Uh, I figured uh, that one out. All right, right cut that on. off. Cut, all right, now everybody punch out if you have your children in the car with you. All that talk, talk about Batman and his boyfriend uh, and Robin being boyfriends, I, re I remembered this joke, so I to say. They said, it said Batman wanted to name Robin after a bird. Do you know why they named, do you know why he picked Robin? Because Swallow no. was too obvious. <laughs> His name's already Dick. <laughs> Come on, that's a funny one. I like that one. <sighs>